Hey guys, my name is Brandon Tate. I am Victoria Hutchings. We are an interior design real estate team who also happen to be a couple. Yes. So we wanted to bring you guys in on our newest renovation project here in beautiful downtown Aurelia. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. So before we get in here, I want to tell you guys, we are basically ripping up all existing flooring, uh, tearing out the existing kitchen cabinetry and adding two kitchens, new floors, new paint, and really just trying to like bring this house back to life. So, so basically we're going the whole nine yards with yeah, this property. Pretty much. So let's get inside and let's demo this property up. Yeah, let's up. do this. What's up guys? with the kitchen guy uh, he just sent me the revised rendering so that's what's gonna look like if we take that wall down if we take that wall down so because we're gonna be running it along the side right yeah parallel with the other wall yeah perfect So we ended up uh, tearing out uh, the wall that's in the kitchen because we wanted to increase the cabinetry space um, as this house currently lacks a lot of cabinetry space yeah. right now. Um, kitchen's still coming out right now, so we're almost there. Um, pot lights are drilled, so it's coming along smoothly. We see you. See, see you. you. We are seven days in on our renovation project. Okay, so we've had kind of a few hiccups uh, during this whole process. But with all that being said, uh, it's a great opportunity for us to explore our inner design and kind of figure out uh, how what... to adjust. Yes. Yep. How to adjust. Hiccups in any design project are bound to happen. The whole point is that you can adjust, you can make changes when necessary. And we have had to do that quite a few times. A few um, times. So. It's all part of the fun, I think, really. Yep, and you know what? We're loving every single moment of it. Yeah. Most importantly, we found a beautiful house. Yep. We got a beautiful lot here. Yep. And the house is going to look fantastic because I've got the best designer in all of Simcoe he County. Right there. beside me. So, with all that being said, we're going to actually jump inside and we're going to kind of walk you through what we've done so far and the next kind of final touches to the project uh, that need to be finalized before uh, the countertops go in. Yeah. So, let's go inside. Let's check it out. Okay. Off to the side here, right beside the fridge, you're standing in the future 42-inch uh, custom oak cabinetry, uh, which is going to be super nice, especially on uh, this main floor because it's a really light neutral color, and this is going to this is going to pop. So Victoria's going to talk to you more about what we're looking to do here. Yeah. So if you remember from one of the previous videos, this was actually a pantry where you literally walked in from here and had a door, it closed off the whole space and it just looked awkward. So the reason I really love this flooring is because we're also doing a, like a naked oak, big, huge uh, cabinet that's gonna have glass doors and drawers. And uh, as you know, you can mix wood on wood, so they are not gonna be the identical color. However, they're both naked oak. They're gonna look incredible together. So. This is going to be beautiful when it's finally done. Okay guys, so we're standing in the kitchen right now um, and I want to just talk about why we chose a peninsula style design um, cabinetry here. Uh, because before, it used to be a railing here and we kind of figured, you know what, honestly, if we did an island and we put it right here, it's only going to be about four feet. 
So the awkwardness between the right hand side to the left hand side, kind of walking around it, it would be too crowded, not to mention between the fridge and the island, it would be really small. So now we have an opening, as you can see, of about uh, five and a half feet, which is really nice because when you're standing here in the kitchen, you open up the, the, the fridge doors, you have a nice large walkway here. Now when we come over here, as you can see, we have all this extra cabinetry now, which is perfect for if we want to, you know, uh, put stuff in the drawers, you need to put pots and pans down here, you name it. We have all this extra cabinetry, which is just incredible. Um, so yeah, that's why we decided to do a peninsula style design, uh, because we want to really maximize the cabinetry space in this kitchen, because before it completely lacked it. So there we have it.